Hey Taurus, welcome to your February reading. This is a general reading and will not resonate with everybody, unfortunately. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell. All January's um, readings are posted, the horoscope, um, the tarot readings and the singles readings as well as a few others. So you can check them out at any time. You know, maybe they will resonate or don't forget to watch your sun, moon, rising, you know, your partner's sign. Um, they may resonate more than uh, yours if you don't get a message in this video, maybe next time. Okay, guys, I will leave information about what decks of cards I use in each video in the description box, along with um, how to contact me for personal readings via email. Okay, guys. So let's see what's going on with Taurus for February. Initiation and the Count St. Germain here. Okay, so. And we have Up in the Air. And that's card 14 and card 18. So I feel like, um, <clears throat> you know, with um, Neptune's qualities here, they're sort of like... At an awkward angle with Mars as well. So I feel like this energy, if you need to get something done, you're going to have to double the effort, right? You may feel like things are left up in the air. Um, you have no control over, you know, how to get things done. Or you could be feeling even a little bit tad lazy um, as we are now in Aquarius season. It could be making you feel a tad bit lazy, okay? So I feel like um, you may have things to do. And you're going to have to take the initiation here. You're going to have to um, put your best foot forward if you like here. Because it may seem like if you have something important to do. Because it seems like there may be something important coming up for you. You're going to have to really push yourself um, to find ways to complete this. You could have left things with a romantic partner up in the air so you don't actually know whether you're coming or going here because look, this balloon could be landing or it could be leaving. So I feel like, you know, um, if it's to do with the romance here, you could have left things up in the air with your partner. You may not know where to go yet. And that's what you could be feeling during February. It could be that, you know, you're yearning for some sort of control of um, things that are not in your control here. You know, like I said, it may be the past or things from the future here because we don't know if this is coming or going. It's up in the air. So it may be you just yearning for this sort of control and not being able to have the control may make you sort of like not do anything so you're gonna have to really push yourself to get things done we have the two of forces the willow here um again it may have things to do with your family things may be upside down with your family here there could be family disagreements and things like that um <laughs> you might be tempted to keep secrets from family um just for your own personal reason, you may eventually share this. You may not even see it as a secret. You may be just keeping things private at the moment. Um, maybe it's your um, pain here or your emotions that you could be hiding as there's this water. But I feel with the bird here, you may be wanting to keep this information um, to yourself. It may be that you're indecisive and you haven't made a decision. Am I going to share this information or not yet? Okay. We'll see here as we go on. Let's see. Okay, the scribe reverse now as well. I think um, maybe, again, it's you know, showing not wanting to share information or a lack of information. So this is what we've seen in the up in the air card as well, that you don't feel like you know whether you're coming or going. Will it work out? Will it not work out? Do I do the work or not do the work? I feel like that sort of indecision there um, with the scribe. So maybe write things down so that you can get a bigger picture of it. You know, see things once, you know, they're out of your mind and on a piece of paper. It might help um, that you may have to you know, force yourself to get the work done. You may just be not wanting to get much done at this time.
so the queen of roses now this is somebody who um you know is very much in love um could be somebody coming towards you here um it could be like a mother figure or things like that this person very much has love for you um as she's looking towards the past here i believe it's already a established connection okay if this is somebody new coming towards you i feel like you haven't met them yet or they may be hot and cold whether they like you or not so it's not somebody who's told you you know i love you this is somebody who has feelings for you and isn't really making it clear enough for you here because you just seem like you're not clear here but this could be sorting things out with a mother figure or a sister you know if you had some sort of arguments or kept some sort of secrets or they've done that to you maybe they just wasn't ready to share yet okay um the buddha prepares here so we see this reversed as well so again we need to see i if you're waiting for somebody to come into your life, let's say, um, and you don't know, they're up, things are up in the air and you're indecisive or you're keeping secrets to yourself here, I feel like the time's not right for this love to happen. I feel like you, you're not ready. You may even feel like the person's not ready, but I feel like there's still some things for you to do. And it may even be that you have to heal family issues or, you know, even if you're a parent yourself, um, there may be other things that you need to take care of. Let me give you an example. I seen, um, I was reading my own personal, um, you know, energy for the day as I always do. And um, I seen it say your career may be ideal right now. And I thought, well, you know, it's kind of not ideal. That was my first perspective. Um, because I felt like, well, I'm not, you know, a multi-millionaire, I'm not making loads of money, so it's not really ideal. But then I realised I needed to spend a lot of time with my family um, during this month. So my career was ideal for what I actually needed. Maybe not what I wanted, but what I needed, my career was ideal, right? So it's perspective. So maybe you feel like I want this love or I want this healing. I want to know what's going on in this connection. And just maybe it isn't time yet. There's things that need to be put into place. They need to be prepared. And, you know, there's so many people like involved when it's just two people even meeting, let's say. Let's just say you're about to bump into a new soulmate. So many things have to line up, right? So I feel like, um, you know, with Venus... During February, um, we have 17th of February till 10th of March, Mercury going retrograde. Um, we have Mark an awkward, uh, sorry, Mars at an awkward angle for you with Neptune. Um, and that's sort of like a dreamy planet. So if you can see like this dreamy sort of energy that you're in, um, that's what I mean by you're not really wanting to push yourself. You There's more of a longing for answers or control so that you feel then you can make decisions and then you know which way to take. But you don't really have to have that control. It's just perception. You're perceiving that, okay, for this initiation to take place, I need to know um, the answers. It's like, you know, when we take a test at school, A-levels or whatever, um, you may feel like, well, I need to know the answers before I go in. When we don't, we study, we've been tested, um, we've been given trials and tribulations throughout our life. So when we actually get to the test, um, you'll go through it with flying colours. It just may feel like you don't have all the answers at the moment. But I feel like you may be unprepared to follow through with um, work commitments and even commitments with family and friends and lovers and all sorts of people. You just could be feeling unprepared, like you don't have the information you need. Um, somebody's not giving you answers, but you, you don't need the answers right now, okay? That's just perspective. You just made, it's just this sort of energy that's around you. You need to give yourself that extra push 
we know when Mercury goes retrograde, we have um, this feeling of things slowing down and stopping and coming to a halt and not getting the answers we want. And then we can be even confused with exes turning up or people from our past returning because they have unfinished karmic business with us. And it's, you know, um, I feel like it just may feel there's a lot right now going on for you and you just don't know which way to turn. There is no wrong way to turn. Um, it's just basically needing to take the leap of faith and knowing that either path you choose, whether you have the right information or not, is the right one for you because you're going to learn something. Okay, the King of Roses. So it definitely seems like a very divine love connection here. You've come up as the King and Queen of Roses. Um, so I feel like it's definitely somebody you've already had an established love, shall we say, or a very deep committed love to each other. Um, as I said that, I looked down, it was 11-11 on the timer. Um, so... Yeah, I know, Taurus, I tried to do it first so that, you know, it's maybe not so deep, but there is, you know, this longing for each other, but one person has their back turned here. So, one, so the information that they're sending is confusion. And with Mercury retrograde, um, being in Pisces season, um it's going to be confusing for you. It's going to be like, you're not going to have to trust logic. You're going to have to choose, uh, trust intuition. So I feel for you being a very earthly sign, it's, it's going to be quite emotional. Um, so your emotions could be up and down and feeling a bit crazy. I feel like you're going to, hopefully, if you push to get some answers, you may get some answers during this time. So, as I said, you know, you could be returning people from your past here, you know, them coming towards you. Um, and they can, every, you know, when we do Mercury retrograde, everybody's like, well, my ex didn't return. And I posted a video about, you know, ex not returning the retrograde and you may have to clear sort of karma with a family member or with a friend before, you know, this. You know, it's going through this initiation, taking things in order that might be quite difficult for you to understand. Like, okay, if I was supposed to be with this person, why why aren't I with this person? Why aren't they coming back? I want answers and I need to know first, you know, before I cross into the road, I need to know first, is there a car coming? So I see your logic, but during Mercury retrograde, you're not going to be, it, things won't be logical. That's what I'm trying to say. They'll be more dreamy and confusing and um, filled with this emotion. So it could be difficult for you to navigate, things feeling up in the air, you feeling unprepared for what's to come or how to navigate even your future here but you're not unprepared okay sorry you don't need to be prepared um you just need to take the leap of faith and push yourself here okay and another one reverse the queen of scrolls again with this feeling like i don't have enough information i don't you know this could be delays on this information coming towards you, somebody talking to you, somebody communicating with you. But you feel like you need this, some sort of answer to ascend. You don't. It's, I, I don't know why you feel like, you know, I need answers. Okay, I know a million people are going to say because they ghosted me. But, you know, closure doesn't come from another person. I know that's hard, but closure you will not get from another person. You get from within yourself, learning to forgive. Because I see here, um, all these uh, these cards are for more about reading and energy than the normal tarot cards that may indicate here. Look, we have three people involved, um, which is quite 
possible here. You know, they could be with somebody else. You may feel like, I know they're meant to be with me because look, we're showing up king and queen of roses. This other person is a karmic person. So blah, 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 blah. Um, it's not so black and white as that. Karmic partners are actually very strong partners. We actually feel very much pulled to them. Um, because, you know, it's sort of like what we're owed, a karmic debt sort of thing. It doesn't mean that a person is bad or anything like that. Um, you three, before coming here, could have arranged, you know, this is how things will play out um, for all three of your souls. And this is what you'll do and it'll cause the ascension and the lesson learned and how you'll repay the debt. Um, so your person could be with somebody else here. And you feel like they are with the wrong person. Um, everything has its place and reason in life. I, even the difficult things, guys. So, yes, they could very well here be with another person. Maybe this other person could have even told you that I'm with your partner and things like that. I know it's difficult. Okay, so we have the seven of scrolls here now. So yeah, it is telling me that, you know, you did get some sort of information that they're with somebody else, um, maybe even messages here, um, and you're trying to rebuild, you know, this tower that was brought down here. You try to rebuild yourself, you try to rebuild your foundation. And it, you do hit points where it's difficult, you know, um, so I do understand that. This little fly has been annoying me for days. Um, but yeah, I, I do see, you know, you working on yourself and trying. I, I feel like it might be a little bit challenging during February because you feel at the very least you're owed some sort of explanation, you may not even be prepared to hear what they have to say. And that's why um, they haven't contacted you yet. And the divine's protecting you. Okay. The divine sort of initiating you in or awakening you. Um, and this is the process that's best for you. And you have to just trust the process here. Fated meeting. So... Yeah, I get it. I mean, I just did a soulmate reading um, and it kind of reminds me of that. You was brought together before here and you'll be brought together again at the right time. I mean, that's just very easily explained and the difficult part is needing to let go without feeling you need to be told um, without feeling you need information about, um, are we going to be together? When are we going to be together? How are we going to be together? What happens next? What are they doing with that other person? Um, I know it's very difficult, um, to not have the information because it's kind of making you feel like, well, my life's up in the air at the moment. Do I wait for them? Do I go on? Um, do I find somebody else? Why can I not find somebody else? Why am I getting all these signs then? Um, that this person's the one for me and they're with somebody else. Um, yes, you should let go. Yes, you should wait. So the, it's like, it's like a catch-22, right? It's just keeping you around in a circle and you're not moving forward. So here, what you need to do is you need to be able to let go and trust God that you will meet them again. And the waiting part, right? When we see the seven of pentacles, that sort of waiting is negative waiting. And when we see the three of wands, that's positive waiting. So you need to be sort of waiting in the three of wands energy, knowing that they're coming, um, knowing that they have their path and they have their reason for being on their path and they'll learn what they need to learn from that path. But you also have a path and you'll learn from your path. It doesn't mean that you wait and not see other people. You can see other people. 
you may have heard stories about people coming together 20 years later having had full marriages and families and then finding their way back to each other. I'm not saying it's going to take 20 years. I'm just giving an example. Um, you may find it challenging not being with them here because sevens are about challenges. So that may be what you're finding difficult. Could be a lesson of patience here. So I'm just trying to give as much as we can, um, you know, with as many people who watch this there's different situations okay guys so good luck and i'll see you soon